Welcome to the last minute hints and tips for the B4C4 P4 exam. So your exam is in the morning so what we're going to do is just go through the last few things that you should bear in mind in advance of that. First thing is because it's a unit 4 exam then that does mean that you've got obviously the B4, the C4 and the P4 section but you also get that section D which is those 10 extra marks for interpreting tables, drawing graphs etc. So make sure you do remember that there are those 10 extra marks which is 5% of the overall paper which are for not necessarily recalled knowledge but for actually interpreting, analysing, evaluating etc. As usual you do have a periodic table on the back page which may come in useful this time. So in C4 there are some things that they may require you to use the periodic table for more often than not they tend to put the section in the actual question though okay but it's there in case you want to use it page two is still important but not as important as for our unit threes there are two equations we need to know this time which are the ones in green so the one at the very bottom there and then just to be awkward they put this one out of sequence because we've already used it in core science so it comes further up okay and that's the power is voltage times current because there are calculations don't forget a calculator tomorrow if you're not put it in your bag, do so now. When you're actually doing the exam, as always, attempt all of the questions. If you leave a blank space, you are never going to get the chance of a mark. You never know, you might write something down and just be lucky that day. So it's worth writing an answer for absolutely everything, even if you're not 100% sure, okay? You will have those six mark questions in there. Remember, you are not marked massively on your spelling, punctuation and grammar. A science teacher who will be marking this doesn't care whether you know these massive like long words, etc. We want short, simple facts. Use a capital letter, use a full stop and try to spell things vaguely right. OK, if you do that, then you're fine. OK, we don't need flowery language and all this malarkey. It's not an English exam, folks. You are more than happy to use bullet points going down to actually structure your answer as well. You don't get marked down for not using a paragraph. Obviously, you can do wherever you want to start, first of all. So if you want to start with the chemistry, you knock yourself out and do that. Just make sure you work through all the sections. Look carefully in case there's any bits in a table that they require you to fill out. All too often, you kind of skim down, look for the answer line, and therefore you miss where you've got to fill something into a table. If it's ticking boxes and drawing lines, make sure you read the instructions carefully to only put the right numbers in there. And also, when you are reading the questions, we'll look for anything they've said other than this. Otherwise, you could throw away an easy mark because you repeat what's already been said in the question. So that's pretty much all the little hints and tips that you're going to need. Obviously, for those of you that are Westlands, then we are doing the breakfast in the morning. So come upstairs to L Block nice and early and have some toast, coffee, whatever you fancy. OK, and any last minute panics, then you can just vent to us science teachers as well. So good luck tomorrow, everyone. And I will see you tomorrow morning at the breakfast. And then I'll see you going into the exams. And I'm sure you'll do absolutely fine.